What's up guys, the Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So, alright, so the last time we had this car here that had issues with the suspension. I believe I kind of looked under it and saw a bunch of the parts that were messed up. But of course I'm going to have to take everything apart just to get to it. So this one didn't come with a list, but like I said, there was a lot of stuff that I could already see that... Uh, definitely was messed up like all this stuff up front so I'm gonna just take all this apart real quick alright let's see sports tire rims get this out of here one there okay so we almost have ten thousand dollars in funds right now okay not that really matters because I can't I was gonna say I don't think I can afford like a car or anything I mean I probably could but couldn't afford to fix it even if I did get one do I have to take wait a minute do I have to take all this off to get to this or can I just take it off now well I'm already taking that off now I might as well just go ahead and get it out okay so the radiator looked damaged too and I guess this brake disc is fine okay I can get this lower suspension arm off without taking that okay is this another version of safe and sound <laughs> This is not the version I know. This is like the, the copyright free version. Okay, so that's one. The lower suspension arm. Front drive axle C. This is in need of repair as well. And then the... I am going to have to take all this off, don't I? The front shock absorber is damaged. I need the sway bar front end link. Two screws there, one there. Okay. And then one there. This should be a decent payout, right? Pretty sure, right? Okay, well I don't I still don't have to take this off. How's this thing floating here? Cause it's gonna be floating if I take this off, right? Or is it actually gonna make me take everything off? No? Still no? I don't know how that's floating. Literally there. What's holding this? Nothing is there. It's just there. Okay. That's not... Physics don't apply to that, apparently. Okay, so... That's everything on this side, I think. I think that's everything on this side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go... The radiator, that's what I need. Uh, they say accessible from the engine bay. So I have to lower this whole thing back down just to get to this. Oh, no. Yeah, I have to lower the whole thing. Okay, well, I'll get to that later then. Let me go back to this. Let me go over to this side. I can't see over here. Okay. There we go. All right, so pretty much almost exact same issues over here. All right, front axle seat. Let me take the tire off. I'm hoping that all this is in the front and there's nothing back in the back that I have to go get. This makes my job so much easier if everything is in one spot. In one general area. Okay. I'm assuming I don't have to take the brake caliper off again, so I'm just going to leave it there. <clears throat> Alright, so. Okay. Sway bar, front end link, that's damaged over here. God, this person went crazy with this car. <laughs> all right there's one there okay now the front shock absorber same process again okay now I don't see anything in the back that I can tell from what I'm looking at from right now once I finish this side I'll look at the list and see if everything is there and if it is then uh then I'll just I'll just start ordering parts and putting it back together. Okay, front drive axle C. D, okay, there's the tie rods over there too. Okay, let me take the outer tie rod out. I always look at the brake discs and think that they're rusty, but then they're not. <laughs> like, they're like in decent enough shape that you don't have to take them out. Okay, lower suspension arm. Bolt there. And bolt there. And one there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or is this brake disc okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. 
Okay, anything that I'm missing? Any any rubber bushings or anything of that nature? Like I said, I know the radiator was one too, but I can't get to the radiator right now. I have to lower the whole car back down. Uh, car status. So I'm missing... Okay, the last two parts that I'm missing are the radiators. So okay, we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, lower this down on the other side. Crap. Here we go. Lower. Alright, there we go. Freaking station wagon. Sports station wagon. <laughs> Alright, so now we got the... The cooling. The radio... Oh, wait. Around this way. God dang it. Go. I can't. Okay, ready to... Fan housing. Okay, so I need a new fan housing and a radiator A. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this list as uh, suggested by a subscriber. I believe a subscriber. Because, of course, it does save me some time when I can just, just look at the list and not have to go back and forward. So, although I can't actually take a picture of this entire list uh, just yet. Give me one second, though. All right, so that's that. And then another picture there. Okay. Now I've got this for my reference for right now. So I can order all parts at once. Okay, let's get out of this. Alright, so... Computer. I need a radiator A. I could make a list of this in-game, but like I said, I can't use it. So it's kind of weak. Oh wait, I can use it. Shopping list, right there. Well, you know. It, it, I think it's a little bit easier to take a picture. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. All right, main shop. I need radiator A. Radiator A. Radiator A. I could also search this, but I'm already down here now. Let's see. Radiator. Radiator A. Radiator A. There it is. Radiator A. Need one of these. I need a radiator fan housing B, so one of these. What's the difference between the re regular radiator fan housing and B? They look exactly the same, and they cost pretty much the same. Oh, no, no they don't. There's like an extra fan there. Okay, I see. Okay, front shock absorber. That would be suspension. Front shock absorber, front shock absorber. That's the rear shock absorber. Front, front, front. There's. Okay. Get, I need two of these, if I'm not mistaken. I need a front shock absorber cap. Where's the cap? Okay, front shock absorber cap. Yes, I need two of these as well. Did I need new springs, or were the springs fine? I don't remember. Dang it. Okay, well, lower suspension arm. We'll find out eventually. Lower suspension arm, lower suspension arm. L, 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 L. There. Lower suspension arm, I need two of those, I think, as well. That's the one thing it doesn't tell me, like the quantity of it, but I do remember it was on both sides, so should be two. I need a <clears throat> front drive axle C, I need two of those. Where is that? Front drive axle C, front drive axle C, there they are. Two of those. Well, considering how much I paid for this, this job should be worth quite a bit because I was almost at ten thousand and now down to eight thousand. So I spent at least thirteen hundred dollars in terms of parts thus far. So sway bar, sway bar, sway bar, sway bar. Front end link A. I need two of these. Okay. I think I'm hoping. Okay. And. I need the outer tie rod, outer tie rod, outer tie rod, outer tie rod. I need an outer and an inner, actually. L M N O O O O O. Oh, it's skip past the end. There it is. Outer tie rod. I need two of these, and I need two inner tie rods. I should have checked to see if I could repair any of this actually before I went and did all this. Oh yeah, I probably should have. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Could I? No, I couldn't actually repair anything anyway. Okay. It wasn't a complete waste. Okay. Let's... Where do I want to start? 
Where do I want to start? I guess I'll start with this since I got to do the fan first and stuff anyway. So, hold on. Yeah, cool one. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> there. Okay, cooling, part mount mode. We've got radiator A. Okay, put the, no, the brand new one, not the old one. And radiator fan housing. Oh boy, there's a lot in here, isn't there? The fans, okay, the fans are in okay shape, okay. It's just gonna, just like, okay, that wasn't part of it, was it? I think I might have missed something in my list, actually. No, 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 I'm fine. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that's that done. So now, can I do the uh, shock absorbers from here? Or do I have to access them from wheel side? Okay. I have to put those back together, though, don't I? Actually. Yeah. Um, I'm going to lift that back up. I'm going to go over here and do the spring... What? Wait, no. It's not over here. Where's that god dang thing? It's like in a corner somewhere, isn't it? Where is... Oh, it's right here. It's right next to me. <laughs> Alright, spring puller. Separate. Yeah, I needed to separate these. Okay, separate those. Alright, let that do its magic there. Slowly but surely, it will pull this off. Okay, take that. Take the parts. And then pull these apart. Okay, pull that one apart. Yes, pull that one apart. Okay. Doing good, doing good, doing good. Alright, take those parts. Now put the parts together. Okay, front shock absorber with the front spring with the new shock absorber cap. There. Now pull that one back together. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Alright, take that one. And then now do the other one. One. Oh, let me pick this. Front spring and shock absorber cap. Okay. Almost done, almost done with that. I should be able to finish this car by the end of the episode. Okay, alright, I got my, my shock absorber, so let me work on the suspension and get those in there. Okay, part mount mode. I'm gonna put those in first. Front shock absorber. There we go. Okay, two screws there, and two there. Okay, that's in there. I took the brake caliper off for some freaking reason on this side. I don't know why. I didn't need to, but I just did. Okay. There. And there. Okay. Now, front drive axle C. There. And there. Okay, that's in there. The lower suspension arm. I'll do that next. Oh, wait. Are the bushings okay? Okay, the bushings are fine. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't see that in my list. God dang it. Okay, rubber bushings. Alright, screw that back in. One there. One there. I have no idea what the song is anymore. It was knockoff safe and sound at first, but now it's something else. Okay. My front sway bar front end link A... Okay, brand spanking new. You won't be able to tell that this car had any issues, customer. You will be happy. Can't remember your name. I don't think you had a name, so just calling you customer right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. The, the outer tie rod is over there. Or the inner tie rod, I'm sorry. Okay, let me do that. Okay, there. Brand new. Why do I have three of these? Did I buy an extra one at some point? Probably did. Might sell it. Or just, no, I'll keep it for later. I just need to remember. I had three outer tie rods, too. I guess I just need to remember uh, that I have it. Okay, let me put the, the rims back on. I'm pre pretty sure that's everything that I needed to do on this side. So, yeah. If not, I'm going to feel crappy because I'm going to have to take this tire back off again. But I think that's it over here. Okay, let me make sure that everything, okay, let's go over to the other side, oh, 
I walk past it again. Suspension here. Part mount mode. Oh. I guess I didn't have to put the tire back on yet. Okay. Front drive axle C. Screw that in. That's done. And then let's do the front shock absorber. Which is not at 100%, but they didn't ask me for that. That's not what I was... I didn't have to repair everything on it. I just needed to get the big stuff. Sway bar front end link. And... Screw that there. I have no idea what this song is saying at all. I'm kind of trying to listen to it just to figure out what the frick it's saying. I don't know. It might, it might, is it English? I, I, I couldn't see it when it came on, so I have no idea what this song is. <laughs> What? Yeah, that is English. <laughs> Something has just begun. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Alright. Okay, so there's the inner tie rod over there. And my outer tie rod. Dang it, I can't. Okay, there we go. Outer tie rod, and I believe that is it over here, indeed, because I can put the tire back on. All right, one there. See that part? That part doesn't sound like English. I'm kind of stuck up in the song right now. <laughs> All right, that should be it. If I'm not mistaken with this car. Let's see. Car status. Yes, everything is fixed. Everything is good. We get almost $2,000 for this job. Right. So, yeah. $2,000. Alright. Another job well done. We can now do six orders. We have six orders. Um... Probably gonna take the order, but probably not gonna start on it until like the next episode. So let's see. This one fix suspension clunks and rattles. My actual car does that, or it did until uh, we got it fixed. Yeah, yeah, it was doing like clunking and stuff like that. Oh, did it just go away? Bought this machine from a friend who needed money. Anyway, check what's wrong and <clears throat> make it usable. What? This strange smell like mushrooms? What? I'm losing these cars already because like they're just going away. I wanted the one with the uh, clunking. Dang it. I wanted that one. Like really bad. It looked pretty cool. Maybe we'll take this one. Uh, since it doesn't provide a list and just makes my job harder. Um, he works on the desk, not in sales. Anyway, check what's wrong and make it usable. What the frick? What am I getting myself into right now? I've accepted a car that apparently is not usable. And I have no freaking idea what's wrong with it. It's rusty as frick. I can tell you that. What's under the hood? Oh my god. What? What is this? What is this crap? <laughs> oh no. What did I do? Is the engine actually somewhat usable? Is it, or is it just like dirt? Oh, I don't even freaking know at this point. I can see a lot of suspension issues though. Yeah, definitely see that. Okay, I think there's some issues with the shock absorbers. Definitely some, yeah, tie, I can see the tie rod issues again. Uh, like I said, there might be some engine issues, but I'm not sure. They're kind of rusted, but I don't. Everything's kind of rusted, but like not super rusted on the inside. I can't, so I can't tell. I'll take it apart at some point. So let me, let me actually, the list will tell what, it doesn't come on the list, but it'll at least show me like what parts I haven't done. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Might have skipped something. Oh my god, there's at least 20 parts that I need to repair. 
I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. All right, well, I'm gonna move it on over to the uh, move it on over to the lifter. All right, there we go. Oh, at least the lift automatically came back down because it was still up. I think when I when I took that other car, but I'm gonna end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.